Right, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about this blaze. You saw me yesterday build up the fire with pellets and I got the fire really hot um, and then I put the blade in and it must have been in the fire for a good 20 minutes, half an hour. And um, you want to try and heat the blade evenly. So if you need to flip the blade uh, during the heating, um, then you can do that um, because you want to try and keep it heated equally both sides and that will stop it from warping. Uh, and especially if you're using a thinner blade, this blade's uh, four mil. Um, but if you were using a 1.5 or a 2 mil blade, it'd be really important to make sure you heat it evenly. And then once, uh, once you start getting a colour on the blade, once it starts getting up to cherry red, you want to test it with a magnet. Um, as soon as the magnet isn't drawn to the steel, it's ready to be quenched. Um, and the next thing you can do to test the, uh, the hardness is you just take a file and you just run it across the tip and you're looking for the sound it's the sound of the teeth actually skipping across the metal rather than cutting into it so I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera but that's making a distinctive kind of tinny sound as if I try it on a piece of the steel that came and hopefully you can hear the difference So hopefully you can hear the difference there. Um, and then after that, once it's um, once you've heated it and quenched it in, in oil, and I use vegetable oil, which works fine, and when it comes out of the oil, it will be all black and scaly, and um, you just sand that off um, back to back to the, you know, the steel. And then what I did is I took it home, and I put it in my oven uh, at 220 degrees, and I put it in there for two and a half hours. Um, and then I just let it cool naturally. Um, I don't quench it again after that. I just let it cool off in the oven um, overnight and then in the morning it's ready to take out and it comes out this uh, golden colour. So what I've got to do now is just sand this up, take all the finish off of it, uh, take all the uh, blackness off of it and polish it up. And I started to grind, you saw earlier as well, I started to grind the bevel on it. Um, but I didn't take it right down to a sharp point um, because if you do that there's a chance that this uh, edge will warp when it's being heated so you want to leave you want to leave it a good mil, mil and a half two mil um, and then I'll grind that back to a sharp point and, um, and sharpen it once it's all been cleaned up um, so that's where I'm up to with the blade just a little bit uh, more briefly about these blades because it isn't my area of expertise but from what I've learnt from making a few of these is I'm using O1 tool steel and to get the best results from them ideally they need to be heated in a uh, controlled kiln to a set temperature and you put them in for a set amount of time um, and then quench them and that, uh, that gives you the best uh, hardness um, but from a DIY approach you can get a perfectly usable blade um, doing it like I've done in a fire as long as you bring it up to um, temperature to the correct temperature and, and let it sit at that temperature for at least 10 minutes um, you want to get it up to a dark orange reddish temperature and as long as it's lost uh, its magnetism you know when you draw the magnet to it as long as it's not uh, the magnet isn't drawn to it and you quench it you should get um, a usable blade and the process of heating um, is to harden the steel um, and then quenching it and what that does is, is it makes the steel really hard um, but it's very brittle at that stage um, so after after the initial quenching, you need to temper the blade, which just softens the, the metal slightly and takes the brittleness away, uh, and then it will retain a nice sharp edge. If you were to try and um, sharpen it straight after the initial quenching stage without tempering it, then then the blade would uh, the, the edge would be too brittle to use. You'd find that it would just keep on um, cracking away. Yeah, to, to get the, the best performance, obviously, it's, there's quite a science to it. Um, 
but like I say, you, you can do it, a sort of a DIY approach will give you a usable result.